So this is really exciting. Um, in the first day after the launch, uh, I have two choirs that have already contacted me expressing interest in being part of this uh, Do Not Call Me Refugee Commission. So uh, it's very exciting. Um, one thing that I haven't done yet is really explain how the piece is going to go. Um, and I'm trying to put together um, a way to describe it. Somebody had asked me, um, and I was able to kind of type it out exactly what, you know, um, not exactly, I mean, I was able to type it out as to what I think it's, you know, my, my plans, because obviously I've been thinking about this for quite some time, how I want the, the song to go. Um, there's going to be uh, an A section, a B section, and an A section. That's definite. Um, the A section is going to be uh, a chant, repetitive. Um, people are going to sing, don't call me refugee. Um, and uh, so, so that's going to be going on while a melody line goes on uh, also. Um, that's going to come back in the, a, the, you know, when the A section returns. The other thing that I'm going to be doing is and uh, this is really wild. It, it's beginning to come together. The middle section is going to be um, this is my name section, uh, and it's going to be my name is, and then you're going to say um, one section is going to say a chant of maybe about four or five different names, or maybe we'll go up to eight depending upon how complicated we want to go. Um, another section will be saying eight different names uh, on a different pitch, and then another section will come in so that there will be all these different levels with all these different polyrhythms going on as well. Um, and then uh, maybe we'll have a stable triplet, uh, refugee, refugee going on in another section so that um, we have all these different um, rhythms going on on top of each other. Now what's really cool about this is that um, I'm going to obviously write into the score the names. I'm going to use names of significant refugees that um, maybe uh, like uh, composers and musicians and stuff that were uh, refugees, singers um, that were refugees, um, but also uh, from books that I've read, um, obviously Lamia's name is going to be in there. Um, and then uh, I'm going to put that in the score. However, what would be really cool is um, if a choir wants to do their own research and come up with their own rhythms with their own names of refugees, how cool would that be? So that we could write in the B section um, and, and so that their performance will be unique. That was the talk. Um, their performance would be unique to, the, to their own because they're going to have their own names who they want to put in um, and, and honor by putting them into the song. So the B section can, can be unique each for each performance. Um, I hope I'm describing it well. You know, I, it's, I hear it in my head. Um, I have the idea, but I'm not sure if I'm putting it into words exactly how you know, I, want to, um, I want to express it. So anyway, that's just a little insight as to um, how the song is going to go. Um, I'm going to think more about it. I want to try to get it into words even more than, you know, than what I'm doing now, like try to describe it better. Um, because I, I don't want a group to go in cold to this, uh, think, you know, not knowing. Or like maybe they'll pass up because they think, well, I'm not sure how the song is going to go. It's not going to be this pretty little melodic um, line. I write songs like that too, like For the Beauty of the Earth. It's not going to be like that. This is going to be driven. It's going to be powerful. Um, I um, I almost think of it's not going to sound like this, but I almost think of like Car Carmina Verana in terms of like the growth of it and the intensity and the repetitiveness of it um, for the A sections. The A section, then the B section will be different, and then I'll go back to the A. And there might be stomp also. There might be a stomp, you know, for um, don't call me refugee. Stomp, you know. So, because uh, I'd like to get people to, to physically in, involve themselves in the song, uh, as well as singing, which obviously is physical, but, but to involve their bodies uh, in the song as well. Um, so, that's, so that's part of what is going to be um, the A section. I uh, haven't figured out exactly how I want to do that yet. This stomping is going to be part of it, I think. It might not start out as stomping, it might grow to stomping, um, but I think that uh, it gives this emphatic... Um, it's almost like an exclamation point at the end of what we're singing. Don't call me refugee. Okay, and then it goes on and on. So that's it for now. I just wanted to share that with you, a little insight as to how the refugee song is going to be going.